The ocean is a drought-proof source of desalinated potable water to more than 80 million people in the world. The ocean can also provide irrigation water for drought-proof and locust manageable agriculture in seawater greenhouses, especially in hot and arid regions like the Horn of Africa. Seawater, however, can also be considered as a low-grade liquid oil that can sustainably provide many more minerals than just table salt and potable water. This includes magnesium, potassium, calcium, and even lithium. The salt mine project is about sustainable extraction of ocean mineral resources for economic growth and improved livelihoods while preserving the health of the ecosystem. In other words, salt mine is about the blue economy. Hello everybody, my name is uh, Richard Muller. Um, in the salt mining project, um, I'll be leading uh, Subtask 3.1, which uh, will be dealing uh, mainly with the regulatory and policy framework surrounding the implementation of um, uh, salt uh, desalinization uh, plans. My name is Adiyam Ahmed. I'm the character representative for Benha Hassel and Environmental Network in the Horn of Africa. Benha is a research and institution and development agency that focuses on pastoralism and development in the dry lands of the Horn of Africa. We operate across the region, working with international development agencies, research institutions, and local uh, organizations. Benha collaborated with Seawater Greenhouse the UK to set up a pilot project in Berbera. Uh, using reverse osmosis or desalination for horticulture and salt production. My name is Professor Luke Chimuka and I'm based at Beast University. Our role in the project is to try to extract lithium from seawater. We, we have got two possible approaches which we are going to try. The first one is trying to use polymer inclusive membranes. The second one is, why to, is trying to extract lithium using smart polymers from seawater. We are going to start uh, with a, a bin lab based scale. Once the system is optimized, we hope we can ups, upscale it a bit and be able to test it in, in real seawater. Hi all, I'm Brent Newman from the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. Specifically what the CSR and our research group is going to be involved in as part of the salt mine project is looking at some of the environmental impacts of, of um, seawater desalination and here we're talking and most of you will know there are numerous potential impacts there is a brine generated which is very salty um, and it contains a number of chemicals used in the desalination process that are then discharged to sea we'll look at how for example how many dilutions are required to render the brine non-toxic to uh, organisms in the receiving environment. I'm here at the CSIRO in Melbourne and I've made a group of materials that could be the magic bullet for bringing efficiency to a whole raft of industries. We're working with a group of materials that are known as Metal Organic Frameworks or MOFs, the world's most porous materials. One teaspoon of this material has the same amount of surface inside it that an entire football field does. That gives us the opportunity to soak things into it like a sponge or to separate things from one another like a filter. 